boom there we go that's how we do it folks welcome to another video where things appear on the paper that weren't there before we're using a pen for this uh, these were invented 30 or 40 years ago and they allow us to put ink in very precise manners on the paper I'm not sure what they did before that I think they just used the, the throw the throw with a bucket onto the wall method and sometimes they use stencils which is how they made hieroglyphics um, is hieroglyphics that's not a language is it no that's just a more of an alphabet I guess Egyptian was a language they just drew, drew little wingdings for each other and had a good time with it too you know what speaking of weird ways to communicate with each other something that I think it would be really cool to do is to take uh, an ASL course sign language a ASL stands for American Sign Language and I think it'd be cool to be able to like, be talking sometimes in my stream in my videos and be signing what I'm doing also first of all I think hands are amazing I'm very interested in hands sometimes the fingernails give me a little bit of trouble I like hands I'm always looking at people's hands um, so I think sign language is cool because it's always people doing things with their hands, often very expressively, right? So I think I might enjoy that sort of thing. I think there's probably tons of classes around. But one thing that puzzles me so much, which would, a puzzlement that could probably easily be fixed by a Googlement, is the why is it American sign, sign language? What is that? Does that mean there's sign language for other languages? And then if you learn sign language in America, and then someone else, you know, learns sign language over there in like Indonesia. I was going to say Australia, but they speak English too. I don't know. Indonesia is pretty close to being my antip antipodal spot. My antipode. If I go straight through the earth, I come out somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And uh, I don't know, do they speak? What, what, what is there? What, what type of sign language do they have there that they don't gesture at stuff the same way? I guess it makes sense that there is a large part of sign language, which is you're just shaping out the individual letters of the alphabet with your, with your fingers and your hand. But a lot of it just seems to be general feelings and just, you know, like this is, you know, that and that is this. They're not different things on the other side of the world. I guess culturally they could be a little bit different. Maybe there are, a, I would like to think maybe there is a lot of overlap. And then just a few little differences that you learn along the way if you want to learn, you know, like some, some dialects for different things around the world maybe. Anyways, I think, there's my speculation. There's, I think it would be cool to do. But that's like one of those things I feel like I'll keep telling myself would be cool to do and then I'll never actually go and do it. <sighs> it's difficult. I told that myself. I told myself that about a lot of things before. Sometimes I get farther. Can you hear me sitting here itching myself? I feel like I have an allergic reaction to something. Anyway, some things I get farther on than others before I stop doing them, you know. Tell myself, I'm going to learn this, learn how to do that, become good at this, practice that, do this, you know. Uh, sometimes I even make plans and start doing it. Sometimes I just daydream a lot. I window shop different futures for my life while I lie there in bed, stand in the shower, just daydreaming in different places, right? Some things get fleshed out a little bit more than others. But, you know, it's because that's just life. You can only do one thing at a time for the most part. For better or for worse. Anyways, nothing too crazy today. I like how this drawing turned out. I like the big bulbous people. This one is in the sketchbook. I also, I almost, I, I, excuse me, I can't even talk. I already released the sketchbook flip through of this with this complete drawing in it. I think, unless I'm going crazy. Yeah, I think I did. And, um, I like these. Maybe if I did another comic book, it could be centering around these weird little bald characters that could be cool because I'm enjoying drawing them and uh, yeah. just you know just more thoughts in the, in the old noggin all right see y'all later have a good day okay
If you have a dog or a cat or some other cute little pet, go give it a little, little scratches or scratches or pets or pats for me, okay? Until Peter loves it. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye.